Hi guys, so welcome back to Gaming Today. I know that all you PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 players need a gaming headset, and yours might have broken just recently, or you're bored of the one you got. Maybe you want something to step up your game that's cheap and affordable, but also better than what you had. Well guys, I've actually got two headsets right here that are actually better than any Toodle Beach basically in its price range, and a bit above it, not to mention. Now keep in mind guys, these are not wireless, you're not getting wireless in this price range, but they're dirt cheap. This one is $24.99, and this one is $35.99, and this one might not even be the one you want to go with, and I'm going to explain in this video why that is. But anyways guys, let's talk about what these are. So the company is called PDP Gaming, a brand new company that's actually licensed and working with Sony directly. So it's actually pretty cool. These actually look amazing if you can't already tell from the boxes, but we're going to show you the actual headsets in a moment. So let's talk about both these. We've got the LBL40 guys. This one's got 40mm drivers, pretty straightforward stuff. Both of these are almost identical for the most part, but they have some key differences. This one's the LBL50 with 50mm drivers, right? So more bass, more clarity, that's the idea. But maybe not entirely true. The 40mm actually has its own perks, and we're going to talk about that in this video, so don't worry, I'm going to explain why that is. But enough showing these boxes, let's get these out of the way. Let's actually talk about the headsets themselves. So guys, we got the LVL40 over here, the LVL50 right here. You can see they look pretty much identical, kind of, till you turn them sideways. Then you can tell the LVL50 is a lot bigger in some ways. Also a little bit heavier, keep that in mind. It's a bit heavier, and has a slightly different design choice on the actual hinge. Why? I don't know. It's actually a little bit more annoying, to be honest with you, but it might make it last longer. I really don't know. It kind of has like this spring system, which is interesting. It looks cool, but that's about all it is. It does feel okay to slide it up and down, but when you're closing it, it feels a little irritating, not gonna lie. Versus the standard, you know, everyone knows this basic design. We all know it, it's nothing fancy, but you get the idea. This one's got the spring system. Why? I don't know. Well, the other thing you're gonna notice is the LVL40 is a little bit smaller than the LVL50. This is definitely bigger and heftier. Let's actually put these on real quick so you guys can see what they look like. So this is the LVL40 on with the mic down. The LVL40 with the mic up, yes guys, when you put the mic up, it actually does move the sound, which is great. That's a huge thing to have these days in 2021. Let's turn sideways. That's with the mic down. With the mic up. Back around. All right. Yeah, there's one thing about the LVL40 you're going to notice, which is basically these two cables coming off, these two leads to this little dongle. This dongle does nothing. There's nothing on here. There's no mute button, no volume. Everything's actually handled on the side and basically in the headset itself. So to mute the microphone, basically that's it. You just put the mic up, it's done. Put it back down, it's back on. This is your volume switch. That's all it is. It's a little dial, essentially. It's a little dial, very comfortable, got a little rubber piece on it, very soft, very easy to use. And you're done. That's all there is to this headset. And you can see it has flex, but it's not going to break. Very nice. I like that quite a bit. Easy to put on, easy to take off, and it's easy to adjust and gives the right size and actually just start playing your game. And there you go, you're done, you're ready to play. No more hassle about it. It's just taking it off, it's a little bit troublesome because you kind of have to go like that, which is a little annoying. I'm obviously gonna be stressing that plastic just a bit. So quality wise, it's a step up from basically the Turtle Beach already because the quality feels a little bit nicer. Another thing, we got the Sony logo on the outside on both of these, which looks really cool if you guys can see that. Looks really neat. But also on the inside, you get a Sony logo as well, which is very cool. That's really neat. I like the fact we get the Sony logo on the outside and the inside of the ear cuff. That is just nice. The actual padding on these is very soft, very nice. I don't know, it's like a foamy material, but it's definitely soft, very nice, breathable, and it doesn't make your ears hot, and I like that quite a bit. Before we go on to the LVL50, I want to mention one more thing. The cable length is actually very good. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at this. Whoa! We got a lot of distance, not too much distance to the point where it's lagging a lot, but we have just the right amount. So it's pretty cool. If you guys are gaming, even if you're throwing your controllers, you're probably not going to have a hard time, and I like that quite a bit about this. So it's the perfect length cable, not too short, not too long. Now let's get to the big boy. This is the LVL50, guys. This one's a little bit different with the flex. It's a little bit more sturdy because you have that spring system. Again, it's a little bit weirder when you're adjusting it. Uh, one more thing we got to mention with this, though, guys, is the volume control is actually like this, like, turny thing. Okay, it's on the side. I'm going to turn this way so you can see it. Whoa, that is so annoying. It's kind of hard to know if you're going up or down with it. It's kind of weird. And on top of that, like, it's weird to just turn your fingers like that. And it's also hard to have a conversation in the same room with someone if you're wearing this because it's covering your entire ear, which you can see. So I'm going to turn sideways with it. Here's with the mic down. Let's turn that mic up. You guys can see. I'm going to come back away. Okay. You get the idea. 
But again, taking it off is easier because you've only got one lead and it's on the left cuff. So it's much simpler, much easier. Same exact length of cable, same type of cable. You get that. There's no dongle on any of these uh, wires, which is great. So pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Now, guys, there is some issues that we need to talk about with the LVL50. This volume control is very annoying and actually doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't like it. It's hard to get a grip on it. There's no rubber. It's just hard plastic. And it feels actually cheaper than the cheaper LVL40, which we have right here. This is what we got Mrs. Gamer today. This is what we got Mr. Gamer today. And I actually like this better. Now, guys, we might be returning the LVL50. And you might ask, why is that? I thought you like this. We might be returning the LVL50 because the LVL40 is so much better in almost every direction. The audio quality on the LV50 is not that great. It's actually less bass articulate, which means we don't get enough bass, and it's not nearly as clear as the audio coming from the LVL40. Also, the LVL50 is actually quieter than the LV40. I don't know why. It's like significantly quieter. I don't get it. I plugged in this, and I was like, wow, this is a big improvement. Of course, it's not as comfortable in some ways around the ears, but you get used to it. When I say not as comfortable, for me, it's not as comfortable because I'm used to over-the-ear cuffs. I'm used to 50 millimeter driver cups and up. That's what I use normally, but these are actually really nice, really convenient, and I like this more. This is great, and plus if it breaks, it's $24.99, guys. $24.99 versus $35.99. With tax, that's basically $41.42 where I'm located. That's a bit more hefty. Versus $24.99 is dirt cheap. This is amazing. If you find this on sale, come on now, guys. This is dirt cheap, guys, and actually the best headset I've ever had for $24.99. Now, I've had many headsets in my time, as you guys have seen some reviews on this channel, but guys, this is by far my favorite headset. I don't know about you guys, but it's better than any Turtle Beach in the price range up until like the $150 range. Once you get to the $150 range, obviously the Turtle Beach is a better headset, but before you get to the wireless side, Turtle Beach is not that great. The build quality, even at the high end of the spectrum, is pretty shoddy. And guys, the last time I bought the Turtle Beach flagship product, which is the wireless headset, the top headset they got, it broke on me in three days. This is actually great. It's been lasting so far, and I really do enjoy it. But even if it breaks tomorrow, it's $24.99 versus $150 or $100, which is insanity. Let's be real. It's just headphones and a microphone. And on the Turtle Beach, it's not like you get a better microphone. This one, you do. We haven't mentioned something, guys. You get a pop filter. A pop filter. I know that sounds stupid, but you don't get the peas, you don't get those annoying puff sounds, and it's built right in. And it looks dang sharp. It looks very professional. Honestly, it's a great microphone. Better than some of the microphones in the $100 range. Better than any of the Turtle Beach microphones, I guarantee it. And we're not talking about Turtle Beach when you use the software and all that on the PC plugged in, you know, with the extra cables and stuff, and you use the software program to make it better. We're talking about just plugging into the Sony PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and expecting good quality. You don't get that with the Turtle Beach. Versus this, I can just plug and play, and it sounds great. Now, guys, there is one more thing we need to talk about with these headsets. There's no active hearing, which means you can't hear your own voice through the headset. That's a bit of a bummer, but for the price range, if you're going for the cheaper model, the LVL40, $24.99, guys, you can't beat it. Obviously, the Turtle Beach products, when you go up the ladder towards the $100 range, you can actually hear active hearing, which means you can hear your own microphone during the game, which is kind of nice if you're trying to get a feel if your microphone's too loud, etc. But this still beats that, guys, in many ways because it's dirt cheap. Whether you go with the LVL50 or the LVL40, you can't go wrong. Now, I'm not saying the 50 is not for anybody. I'm just saying for the price difference, the LVL40 gives you way better sound, more articulate, and honestly is a better product than the LVL50. This looks like it needs one more year or two before they actually get the process down right. Well, basically, guys, at the end of the day, the LVL50 is a great headset, but the volume level is way too low, at least using with the PlayStation 4 directly plugged into the controller. You might have a different mileage if you're using this for your phone or something like that. It might be better. I don't know. As for using it on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, the LVL40 is the dead winner here. And it's much clearer, better sounding, and obviously a lot louder. And I think that's great. Although, I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that your ears are actually closer to those speakers. I don't really know what the reason is for it. Perhaps the way they tune these speakers is different, but either way, it's much louder. And guys, it beats anything from Turtle Beach. Go with the LVL40. If you're looking for something dirt cheap at $24.99, this is the product for you guys. This is the one that you want to go with. Trust me, it's better than anything you use in that price range. This is good. In some ways, it's better than the iRig stuff because it's too cheap. And honestly, it just works. It's not so bulky, not so hefty. And it, yeah, maybe it's more delicate than those products, but it looks cool. You've got the Sony logos on the side. It looks professional. You've got the Sony on the inner cuff. And look at this. You have a little bit of flex, but it's not breaking. And that's important. 
Thank you, Turtle Beach. Those stupid little turning things they have on theirs where they're like cuff turns and stuff. I hate that. But anyways, guys, these are the cheapest gaming headsets I could find. I think you would really be happy with. Go with the LBL 40. This is available on the Xbox, the Switch, the PS4, PS5. You get the idea. Just find your corresponding system and go with it. Don't go for the 50. Throw this crap out. Don't go for it. Go with the 40. Trust me, you'll be very happy. $24.99 is a great price, and it's the same price on all systems. You won't go wrong with that. Anyways, guys, hope this video did help you. And if it did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, it's been Gamer Today.